Okay, come back okay, now. 15. Come on now. Best job. 15. What are you zero to? What are you okay, zero to? Go to Harley Avenue. 15. Come on, bloody hell, zero to. Okay, 15. I'm calling go to Harley Avenue radio for five, ten minutes. You're not answering your radio. Anyone What's wrong with 15. Girl? Okay, 15. Go to Hardy Avenue. Anyone Oxford Road? Oh, come on now. Best job. Where to, mate? Oh. Hello, sweetheart. In that funny voice? Yeah, I got it. Half price, 19.99. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, it's a fucking blow. With paedophiles. They're just in it for the council house. Hey, the queen mum, you know, she ain't dead. She's pregnant. They just tried in her. Hey! I get the hockey stick out and break the bloody legs. They come out and they said they've been fiddling with kids. Because all they want is that three-bedroom house with fully central eating, nice bathroom suite in it. There's another thing you don't see anymore. Unicorns, Stephen Hawkins, right? He ain't even disabled. And I saw him up the tree collecting conkers. Yeah. You know, if he flagged me down, I stopped. And uh, I said, where to? And he goes, uh, laser quest. Tell you something, it's getting rough around here now, you know. I was sleeping in the car, like, you know, and the windscreen had bloody gone. Someone nick the windscreen. Oh, see, you don't see any parking spaces. Strangle me from behind using a shoelace. Now, I check what shoes they're wearing. Slip-ons only, please. She was slapping me in the face with a slip-on shoe. Hey, where did you say you were going, mate? Um, that show, it was the Muppet, Muppet show, Sesame Street, and they're talking about bringing it back. And they're either going to have a new character, or they were going to get one of the established characters of the series, and they're going to give them um, HIV, HIV virus. And I think, well, which one would it be? Because they never said. Well, I think it's Oscar the Grouch, right? Because he's always rubbing him through them vins, isn't he? He's a dirty bastard, Oscar the Grouch. He's probably got it off like a needle or something. How about Miss Piggy? Miss Piggy's a slag. I mean, I know it's like a kiddie thing, but she's, she's dirty. And if if they were real, like I'd tell Kermit and the Frog, I'd just say, look, Kermit, forget it, because she's a slag. And I bet she's slept. I bet she's slept with bloody loads of muffins, sir. And I know she likes Kermit and everything. She's got the arts for him. But she, she, she's... she's She's added her own, hasn't she? She's dirty, funny. Her. How about count the count? You know, one, two, three, count. Because he's a vampire. He's always biting the necks, isn't he? Hey, big boy, what's up? I got AIDS. Bloody hell. I mean, I can see the point, like trying to educate the kids, but I don't. I think it's going a bit. I think it's going a bit too far. Like, just um, it's just a bit sick, isn't it? Kids want a bit, a bit of fun. They don't want to be like knowing about AIDS and like losing loads of weight and looking like shit, do they? He said it was going to be 10 minutes, 10 minutes ago. Where to, mate? People have the barbecues in the living rooms now. You don't see any blind pop stars anymore. They've bombed Afghanistan. You know, nothing but pressure on Pakistan. You know, but I know where he's hiding. Wales. Bloody hell! I mean, where are they? Stevie Wonder. When's the last time you saw a mermaid? Ray Charles. You know, I don't use landlines anymore. You know, because Diana used to campaign against them. Roy Orbison. I mean, where's the last place you'd look for Bin Laden? That's right, Conway Castle. Wales. I'll tell you what, it's getting rough around here. There's loads of drugs going around. He was a lollipop man, and he was dealing to the kids. Look left, look right, and his five pound wrap of whiz. Don't see them anymore, you know, uh, rag and bone men. Yeah, I think they're extinct. One lad was six year old and he was smoking crack in the back of my cab. He was skinning up using a Pokemon card. I mean, whoa. I mean, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. What are you two for? Say that again. 13, what are you talking about? You've gone to Old Trafford. I said Trafford Centre. Well, I, I thought you said Old Trafford. All the age you say was Trafford. I, don't, I can't understand your accent. That film, The Hulk, where's Luther Ingo? Why haven't they got an actor, big actor with muscles and painted him green? Hey, I wrote um, him, that, that guy, well, they thought he were a terrorist, but he weren't a terrorist. He, he was just a stand-up comedian, dressed up as uh, Osbin Bin Laden. So he, he got through, you know, managed to kiss like Prince William and stuff, but just think if he were a real terrorist, day, eh? And he wiped all the royal family out because the only person who wasn't there was Prince Edward. And imagine Prince Edward would have ended up being King of England. That bloody puff. This country used to have a set of balls. Well, they've shrunk and fall off, and now it's one big vagina, and everyone's fucking us over. So, hey, I tell you, I've got a fantastic sense of humor. 
Johnny's job exercise. They just don't, they're not bothered. They are not bothered. And I, and I love that. You know, it's like, look at me. I'm absolutely fucked. I don't care. Life's great. Let's put some makeup on. The Royal Train. And every time they take a trip on this train, guess how much it costs? Go on, ballpark figure, have a guess. 23 grand. How can you justify that? 23 grand. 23 grand! Last year, Prince Andrew, he, oh, I want to go watching World Cup football. Oh, very nice. Why do you watch it on the telly? Oh, no, you want to get on a plane. How much that cost? 18 grand. He went twice. Who's paying for that? Him? Is he fuck? I bet if he did, he'd be like, oh, I'll just watch it on telly with a bacon butty. No, we're paying for it. You know, spend it on the patients, not on you. Why should I spend Why should they spend three grand on cleaning up bubble gum? Instead of spending three grand on cleaning up the bubble gum, they could spend that on some kid who's dying on a dialysis machine. Oh, fucking hell! It just gets me proper fucking mad! Like, oh, they're all family. They are cutting costs. And every time, like, they have a fancy do, it's like, they're not going to have champagne. They're going to have sparkling white wine instead. Well, what they fucking do, eh? That's going to save a fucking fortune, that. Give them piss. Let them drink piss. I think it, was, it might have been Ailey Mills or Susanna York. She drinks other people's piss. She saves a fortune, you know. But I tell you what, I tell you what you never see. You never see dogs standing in dog shit, do you? Uh, where are you going to, mate? My uncle took a year off, dead, you know, for tax purposes. I don't care what you say. Swings and roundabouts, though, innit? You know acupuncture, right? It's just like voodoo without the middleman. Oh, the bushes have crashed. Bloody hell, this is pathetic. It takes two to tango, but three's a crowd. I don't know what the Americans are complaining about with Space Shuttle Columbia. If I had my Datsun for 30 years, I'd think, fair enough, got my money's worth. Oh, Lord. Fucking hell. Saddam Hussein? He didn't have to be a dictator, you know. When he was younger, he was a really good snooker player. I made a pair of pants out of the sweat beads, you know, on my seat. Yeah, he, he, he can get hold of anything. He's got them electronic, you know, prayer mats. But you press a button and it faces Mecca. Can't believe the two buses stuck. Hey, you know that um, Whoopi Goldberg? She's married to that actor Gerard Depardieu. She's now called Whoopi Doopy Doo. I'll have to go the long way around, mate. Sort of an uplifting program on Channel 5. Yeah, it's about tits. Do you, do you like Indian music? It's wicked, isn't it? It's easy to cheat on robot wars, you know. My mate dressed his little brother up in tin foil and gave him a spade. He only got caught when he passed out because the studio lighting, isn't it? <laughs> hey, all the girls as well. Harry isn't Prince Charles' son. Look at Charles. Look at Diana. Look at Harry. Now look at me cook Noel. You know my next door neighbour? He got arrested by the police for looking at child pornography on the internet. I can't understand it. He was only doing research. He wants to be a celebrity. Where did you say you were going, mate? The taxi for Zippy. Where are you going? Uh, to, to, to the rainbow. You're going rainbow? Is that rainbow snooker club? Rainbow pub? I asked for a guy gets in our cab and he goes, I can't pay you. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Few money I'm next thing. Like that. I'm thinking, sweet Christ, Jesus. Get me out of here. You know, you you like, can't believe it. It's like, it's like being in a movie. You can't believe it. Right, you can't pay me, give me your gum. Like that. Well, this guy with gum, he's pissing his side, he's laughing his head off. Bang! Knocks me out. Wake up. And on passenger seat, he's left a load of bullets. <laughs> he's left a load of bullets. And I found out that these bullets, right, were for about 20 quid. The taxi fare were 15. <laughs> so I come out the winner, don't I? Hey? It's crazy, I think. What's life, in it? You think, you think it's shit, turns out good. You think it's good, turns out shit. Swings and roundabouts, my friend. Why?
Okay, 15, go to Hardy Avenue. Anyone Oxford Road? Oh, come on now. Best job.